Okay. We are going to look at the design of wet sediment basin. Let me give you a brief uh, overview of the requirements for the design of wet sediment basin. So, the first requirement is that the wet sediment basin should be used on only, only on type F or type D soil. Okay. Type F stands for fine and type D is even finer. Huh? The approach adopted is based on the storm containment, fully impounding runoff from a nominate, nominated design event due to observation that traditional approaches to settling of fine sediment, particular, particularly dispensable clay, has been ineffective. Because very fine particles are difficult to settle out. So the approach now adopted is on containing the storm, containing the runoff, uh, retain it for as long as we can, uh, and let it settle out. The design event is selected using a risk based approach. The rainfall and the predicted runoff from that design event is used to size the settling zone of the basin. The duration of the design event should be five days. Time needed to achieve effective population, settling and pump out of the storm water. The 75 percent town five day storm event should be used as the design event, refer to table 3.4 huh? in the notes, table 3.4. The 80 percentile five day event should be used if the site is upstream of an environmentally sensitive area or if the construction period is more than two years. Total volume is one third as sediment storage volume and two-thirds as sediment settling zone. For area of high soil erodibility, the sediment storage volume should be able to, re to retain two months of soil loss, calculated using the modified universal soil loss equation. The captured storm water should be drained or pumped up within five days following the rainfall. The target water quality is class 2, which uh, class 2 standard according to the Interim National Water Quality Standard for Malaysia, where the TSS is less than 15 mg per liter. The sizing guideline for wet sediment basin for normal situation given in table 3.3. That's table 3.3. That's table 3.3. This is for wet sediment basin. The table is divided into, into settling zone and the total volume. Settling zone and the total volume. The magnitude of the design storm huh, is a different design storm because wet sediment basin is for storm containment. So we the table is based on design stock event. So for moderate runoff, uh, for different design stock, uh, we have different settling zone volume requirement. The total volume is there. Okay, just now I also mentioned table 4.1 but I did not uh, go into detail this table I mentioned here the 75 percentile 5 day rainfall event should be used as the design event refer to table 3.4 for Malaysia this is not inside MASMA okay what Masma saying, if you want to 
calculate, you need to calculate 75 percentile, five daily, four events. This is for a catchment. Say, for example, the catchment is in uh, Putrajaya. Right? You, you want to do sediment basin in Putrajaya. We should acquire the data for Putrajaya and then you analyze the record, let's say 10, 20 years of rainfall record, analyze, do the distribution, find out what is the 75 percentile five day rainfall event for Putrajaya. Huh? Because all these are not inside Masma. So, yeah, you need to do the analysis. You need to acquire the rainfall data for Putrajaya, analyze it, and find out what is the 75 percentile rainfall for, for Putrajaya. Okay? Because it's so tedious. So for this workshop, we have provided you a list of the uh, catchment that we have analyzed. Huh? It's in table 4.1. To save you a bit of time. Yeah? Table 4.1 inside the notes. Here. This is a table. Uh, to save you a bit of time, we have prepared a table. Uh, we have done the analysis. Uh, and we do the distribution. What is the 75? What is the 80 percentile? Uh, for major towns in Malaysia, uh, for Malacca, for KL, we have Gunting Sampa, for Malacca, for Penang, for all the major towns. Uh, we have done the analysis and we have, do the, we have done the analysis and we put the result here for you. Huh? This is not inside MASMA. Huh? But we find this very useful. If you want to do for a certain location, you just look at this value. Immediately you've got some estimate. Huh? For the major town, East Malaysia also we have on the list. Just to help you huh, do your work. So this is a resources that you can use. Okay. With that, we finish the uh, presentation for the wet sediment basin. Now we go into the work example.